Welcome, and thanks for joining Basingstoke Salvation Army's daily devotional, Battle Drill. For more information, go to basingstokesalvationarmy.sermon.net forward slash battle underscore drill underscore daily underscore devotionals. Hello, and welcome back to another week of Battle Drill Daily Devotionals. If you ever meet an iceberg, you should know that what you can see is only around 10% of its mass. As Christians, we can sometimes make changes that are visible to others, whilst the roots of who we are remain unaffected. This week we begin a series looking at what it means to be an emotionally healthy Christian. Let's read together today's passage, which is 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 11 to 21. We are God's ambassadors. Because we understand our fearful responsibility to the Lord, we work hard to persuade others. God knows we are sincere, and I hope you know this too. Are we commending ourselves to you again? No, we are giving you a reason to be proud of us, so you can answer those who brag about having a spectacular ministry rather than having a sincere heart. If it seems we are crazy, it is to bring glory to God. And if we are in our right minds, it is for your benefit. Either way, Christ's love controls us. Since we believe that Christ died for all, we also believe that we have all died to our old life. He died for everyone, so that those who receive his new life will no longer live for themselves. Instead, they will live for Christ, who died and was raised for them. So, we have stopped evaluating others from a human point of view. At one time, we thought of Christ merely from a human point of view. How differently we know him now. This means that anyone who belongs to Christ has become a new person. The old life is gone, a new life has begun. And all of this is a gift from God, who brought us back to himself through Christ. And God has given us this task of reconciling people to him. For God was in Christ, reconciling the world to himself, no longer counting people's sins against them. And he gave us this wonderful message of reconciliation. So we are Christ's ambassadors. God is making his appeal through us. We speak for Christ when we plead, come back to God. For God made Christ, who never sinned, to be the offering for our sin, so that we could be made right with God through Christ. Amen. Paul declares that when you become a Christian, God makes you a new person. Your old life is gone and your new life has begun. However, for many Christians, me included, that's not always our experience. Why? Well, often it's because our discipleship hasn't helped us deal with the deep wounds and sin patterns that have grown up in our lives. We continue to be plagued by past difficulties, arguments, conflicts and failures. How we live out our Christian lives doesn't seem to transform the deep places in our lives. One reason is because many of us do not emerge emotionally mature from our families. Our families are often cracked and broken, certainly not perfect, and that influences us. They are marked by the consequences of the disobedience of Adam and Eve described in the Bible. Even the best families can hide reasons for shame, family secrets, lies, relationship breakdowns and disappointments. It's vital that we understand all this, to allow the Holy Spirit to transform us in the way that Paul promises. Understanding the old things in our lives, our hurts and our hang-ups, can help us to be the people God longs for us to be. As we think about that today, why not use this question? How does it feel to be honest with God about where you have come from? And I look forward to seeing you again soon for another Battle Drill. We hope you've been encouraged and equipped by this daily devotional. Why not find us on Facebook, Instagram or YouTube by searching for Basingstoke Salvation Army. 
and join us again soon for another battle drill. God bless you. <laughs>